Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Mark on 3D, and today we're going to be creating these paint holders. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button to keep you up to date with my content and enjoy. So let's right click, delete, shift A to add in a new mesh and circle. From here, we know that one square here is one millimeter by one millimeter. So at the moment, we've got a two millimeter circle and the our diameter of our paints is about 25 mil. So I'm going to scale by 13 to get a 26 millimeter diameter. From here, I'm going to do extrude and I'm going to scale this up a little bit. Let's now get rid of these. I'm going to press V to rip. I'm going to select these two V to rip. Control L, delete vertices. So now we're just working with this um, arc, I guess. Let's come over here to the mirror modifiers, uh, modifier, then click mirror modifier. And we've got X and let's put in Y. From here, I'm going to select these two points and Alt M and merge at center. I'm going to press N to bring up the side panel item. Now I'm going to make this, so this is 13 and I'm going to make it probably a three millimeter wall. So let's change this to 16, change this to 16. And that means this point here will be 16, 16. So we've got our cube now. From here, um, I want this thing to be 13, uh, 30 millimeters high. So I'm going to select everything with A, G, Z, 30. So now we've moved it up 30 degrees. I mean, 30 millimeters. Um, I'm going to make this lid three millimeters thick. So I'm going to do E to extrude and we'll do minus three. And from here, what I want to do is I do not want to be really um, printing supports in here. So I'm going to do E to extrude. Let's go down. Hmm. How should we tackle this? Because I don't want to be using too much um, plastic up and I kind of want a gap in here. I know how we'll do it. So let's go E to extrude, Z down, and let's go minus 27. Uh, whoops, we didn't go minus 27 because we're already gone down three and I want three millimeter base. So six centimeters from 30 is 24. So E minus 24. And so now we've got this. And from here, I'm gonna do E to extrude Z minus three. And what I wanna do is we've got our origin point here in the center. Y only went down one, G, Z minus two. I pressed the wrong button. We've got our origin point here in the middle. I'm going to come up to the top here and change our pivot point from medium point to 3D cursor. And now let's select this interior face. Oops. Interior face. Oh, fine. Everything wants to be selected. So I'll just manually right click, right click with holding shift. Let's E to extrude. I'm going to press S to scale, shift Z. So it only scales on the X and Y. And from here, how does that look? So that looks quite nice. So our paints will fit in there brilliantly. So from here, I kind of want to cut a gouge in here. So I'm going to come down probably on like an angle to here-ish. Um, so let's go X and that's on that point. Beautiful. Um, let's press Z to cut through everything. And where are we going to go? Let's go to, is it going to, all right. Can I, I'm just trying to pick a point. Let's try this. Okay. So let's go back into side view. I think I might just eyeball it. That'll probably just be easier. So K to use the knife tool. It's on that point. Z to cut through everything. And then let's just eyeball it to here. And then all the way to the end, like so. And enter. 
we've got all that selected. I'm going to deselect these areas here. So B and middle mouse button. Let's deselect. Let's deselect. Let's press V to rip. You are a jerk. That's fine. Let's press delete faces. And so now we've got this. So from here, I can select this area. We won't be selecting these lines. So B and delete, deselect that and press F for face. And this remaining section, Alt right click on the edge, face. And so this, we've got these triangles, which will save us a little bit of material, probably not a lot. So let's come on the other side. And now let's do the same thing. I'm going to, now which one is it? Probably that one there-ish. That one looks fine. So let's go K, sorry, K, Z. So probably about to here and then come across. There we go and enter. Let's now go deselect all these B. I'm not too concerned that it looks a little bit dirty. That's fine by me. Um, let's go. That's fine. Those are the faces we want to delete. So I'm going to delete faces. It looks like though I probably should delete this one and this one, delete face. What we might do is that's a bit yuck here, here. Oh boy. And that was just because we manually cut everything. So I'm going to select all those vertices and that one in there. Oops, get this one as well. Alt M last. Ooh, what's happened there? Someone's not happy. So let's try and purge that face, purge that face. Let's come back over here. Alt M last. Do we have any open faces remaining? I'm not too concerned. I'm actually just going to select all this. Alt M last. Nope, oh, didn't like that one, did you? All right, let's go Alt M last, Alt M last, Alt M last. There we go. And let's bring, is there more than one vertice? So let's probably just merge these ones here. Alt M last, beautiful. And we will select these four vertices, face, Alt right click to get that edge loop there and face. And so we've got these triangle parts happening. Um, what else could we do? Let's select these. Alt M last. Yeah, nice. I'm fairly happy with that. I mean, I could put an edge loop in here, maybe cut out a little bit more material. That's fine. Let's leave it as is. From here, I'm gonna go file, save as. We've got one paint holder. Um, and we've got a hole in the bottom, that's fine. That'll save a little bit of plastic, but not really. I'm going to add in an array and let's go five long, four, five. And so this will be our paint holder tray. So let's just see what that looks like. So file, uh, export, STL. Um, let's export it as a paint holder. Selection only, because that's the only thing we wanna um, export. Our scale is to one to one at the moment and Z up, beautiful, export STL. Let's jump over to Cura and open, paint holder, open. All right, so this red is bad because what happens is Cura is trying to build um, supports to that face. So if we come over into Blender and we have a look which way the normals are facing, um, let's go into edit mode, sorry. And we come up here to display and turn our normals on. If we come in, we can see that we don't really have those blue lines. So I'm gonna select everything and shift N. And now we can see those lines are poking out, which is exactly what we want. So 
let's save that file export stl paint holders that's fine head over to cura view bye bye open it up back into paint holders open and so that's looking a lot better now let's click slice and let's see how long it takes three hours five minutes that's pretty good i'm fairly happy with that paint holder um let's just do a little bonus thing of let's say we want to make kind of like a stand so let's say we wanted another one so control copy control v control c control v fine i'll just open it up paint holder so let's just say we want another one and we want it to be sitting like this all right that's fairly straightforward ish hopefully <laughs> and hopefully i'm not a big fat liar so i'm going to do shift d to duplicate and i'm going to hide one of them select this one okay so from here we want something that fits in here um so what i'm actually going to do is i'm actually going to keep most of this so let's alt right click on here and we can be to box select all these faces Control i will invert our selection and delete faces all right so this is what we've got whoops let's delete these two faces because we don't need these um oh, and these two delete faces so with this here i'm going to make it smaller so let's put our 3d cursor back into the middle shift s cursor to world origin scale and let's press shift z so it's only on the x and y and we'll scale it in a little bit from here i'm going to do select all these lines edges sorry g z let's bring that in from here i'm going to press e to extrude right click to put it back in place i'm going to scale shift z um shift z all the way into the middle and if i press zero there we go so now we've kind of got this piece that's sitting there now how thick do we want this that is the question um let's just say 10 mil e to extrude z 10 minus there we go and let's do this exact same thing e to extrude <laughs> e to extrude scale shift z zero and we've closed that off now and so now this will hopefully just sit on there quite nicely what i will do is i'm going to select this edge Control b to do a bevel and we'll just put a little bevel in and alt h let's unhide our piece so we can see that's what it's going to look like um what's the distance between these two points what are we at 6.7 mil Oh, that's a big distance. That's like a distance of a millimeter. So I'm going to alt right click here and let's scale shift Z. Probably like that. That gives us a little bit more clearance. Um, from here, I'm going to do the same up here. Control B to put in a bevel. There we go. Um, and should we, we should probably do one down in, oops down in here as well just to make it look a bit prettier b there we go all right so now let's export this one and this one so file export stl paint holders selection only z up beautiful come down here file export stl paint holder spacer export beautiful over to cura open that one up let's open up our paint holder spacer and once again we've got that problem with the normals facing the wrong way tab edit control uh, shift n to flip the normals file export stl spacer done thank you you goodbye <laughs> done all right ah uh, yes let's get rid of these two and open paint holder paint holder there we go all right done i'm just going to move these in a little bit closer okay 
And what I will do is generate supports. We don't need any supports because we modeled them, so we didn't need to. Adhesion to blade. I'm going to put in a raft. I want to make sure this sticks. I don't want it to be bending up. So I'm just going to put in a raft. Slice. How long is it going to take? Nine hours, 13 minutes. Not too bad. I'm fairly happy with that. 109 grams. Beautiful. So let's save that to our file and print it off. And here we have it on the printer. Looking quite nice. Took up most of the bed, which is fine. And this is the final product. Quite nice and fairly happy with how it turned out. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Keep you up to date with my content.